When I came to work at this elite school, I was immediately given a classroom management. The kids are no giants, the parents are all cool. It's not easy to work with such kids, you have to watch your every word. But nothing, I cope, although I thought I could not stand it and would run away. I got acquainted with my parents and soon my first school year was over. Pupils and I got on well with each other, everything went well. At the beginning of the school year in September my class and I go on a field trip. We have a beautiful forest park nearby, that's usually where we go. Some of the parents two to three people go with the class. This time the mom of one and the dad of another student came with us. Everything was well organized, the kids were obedient. We made a fire, baked potatoes and fried sausages on the twigs. We put a large oil cloth on the grass and started setting the table. Vitalix, my students, father started helping me. My hands were busy and a strand of hair came out of my barret and got in my way. Then Igor, Vitalik's father, said he would help me, came over and tucked my hair in. We looked at each other, and it was as if lightning or an electric current passed between us. We involuntarily lowered our eyes. Something had happened. I could no longer look at Igor as the parent of my student. I felt some kind of attraction to him. I don't know what he felt, but his eyes spoke for themselves. On the way back on the bus, Igor and his son sat behind me and chatted cheerfully the whole time, often addressing me. And then he came to school, finding some excuse, and told me that he had liked me for a long time. He didn't know how to get close to me, and in the woods he wanted to hug me so badly. I thought the whole school could hear our conversation in the hallway, but from the outside it looked ordinary. A parent came to see the class teacher, especially since Vitalik was a tomboy, and the appearance of his father was natural. I told Igor that he had obviously forgotten where he was. This is a school, and he came as a parent, nothing more. I resisted, though I was so drawn to him. He came to school a lot, I got angry, I said that he put me in a stupid position. But luckily, Vitalik once again broke the window. I prayed that he broke windows every day, and there was a reason for his father to show up at school. Everything looked decent. When he left, Igor said he would wait for me in the car a couple of blocks away from school after work. I replied that I wasn't going to go anywhere a few blocks away. He repeated that he would wait for me. It didn't take me long to resist. I came, of course. I thought the whole town saw me get into my student's father's car. We drove out of town to a restaurant. Then he drove me home, but I got out of the car before I got home. Conspiracy. And it was on. We didn't go to restaurants anymore, but to a rented apartment. I fell in love like a girl. Igor told me that he felt so comfortable and good with me, that he had never loved anyone as much as he loved me. He would have left his wife long ago, but he loves his son madly, so he won't divorce his wife. That's how our affair drags on, with no prospects for me. I understand that I need to stop it, that I need to arrange their lives, and in school may learn about our relationship. But I don't have the strength to break it off. I don't know what awaits me. Throughout my life, I have had bad luck with guys. It started back in high school, when I foolishly got involved with a dork who dated me until the first time I had sex, and then dumped me. It was a great shame and humiliation for me. That's what I associate the phrase first love with because of it. My next affair after high school ended with me getting an STD. My parents had to spend a lot of money on drugs to cure me. Things were no better during my college years. I hooked up with a classmate, but he forced me to get an abortion after he got me pregnant. Otherwise, he promised me big trouble. I got scared of his threats and obeyed. I still can't forgive myself for that sin. Abortion after the first pregnancy could end in infertility, and I am so afraid of that, that even years later, I don't go to the doctor to be checked. 
In my senior year of high school, I met a much older man. He and I lived in his apartment for a while. But after some drunken beatings from his side, I ran away from the beast. After graduation, I dated a colleague for a while until I found out about his drug addiction. That was the last straw and I was determined to end the relationship, at least for a period. Why all this was happening to me, I didn't understand. Some people said I didn't dress well, I didn't take care of my face. Others said that I had cockroaches in my head, wrong beliefs. Others assured me that I was easily accessible. Some were convinced that I'm the opposite of a prude, that I have to be groomed for years for a single touch. They also said that I have too high demands that allegedly waiting for a prince. Others said that I, on the contrary, clinging to anyone indiscriminately. What I did not do. I bought brand name outfits and cosmetics for the attention of guys. I've been on every dating app out there. I went to a dozen psychologists, but I did not earn anything, except for exhausted resources. But as time went by, I turned 24 and something happened that gave me a chance and rekindled my hope to find a good man. It was banal to say the least. We accidentally met on the street and got to talking. It was obvious that he was much younger than me, but not that much, as it turned out later. He seemed mature to me at the time, looking about 18 to 19 years old. So I did not hide from communicating with him. And the way he spoke, he did not look like the schoolboy that he ended up being. So we exchanged numbers after the first meeting and agreed on the next one. So we started hanging out, going to the cinema, Cephas, and so on. With each meeting, I became more and more crazy about him. Maybe I was naive, but it seemed to me that I had finally found my happiness. After a while, I found out that he was 15 years old. It came as a real shock to me. Thank God we didn't have anything. I was faced with a very difficult choice. On the one hand, I was taking an incredible risk of losing my reputation, maybe even my freedom. But if I broke up with him, then what? More loneliness and the fear of meeting another freak. I thought for a long time, pondered, weighed all the pros and cons. And then I realized, I would only go to jail if we had sex, and I would have nothing if we just met and talked. Platonic relationship, so to speak. So I agreed to go out with him on the condition that we would do nothing more serious than kissing and that we would be separated for any hint of violation of this oath. The boy agreed to this, and here we go. I was terribly afraid that someone would find out about it. To avoid any mishaps, I rented a flat on the edge of town where we would meet in secret and spend time, eating together, playing console games, and just partying. It was true happiness for me. So we dated for eight months. It was a record for me. It was more than with all the previous guys put together. After that, I was finally convinced that this was my destiny. After all, during that time, he never once raised his voice at me. We did not have a single argument. And when I was in his arms, I forgot about all my misfortunes the abortion, the beatings, and everything else. During this time, no one burned us, and we decided to loosen our conspiracy. We couldn't hide from people all our lives. So we started walking down the street in the evenings, holding hands and kissing on the bench. And that was my fatal mistake. The thing is, before me, my boyfriend dated a girl of the same age, whom he dumped after we got together. He told me she was a bitch without a brain or a conscience. She was always demanding that he take her to places at his own expense, throwing selfish tantrums on him for every occasion, and so much more. This breakup was a big blow to her pathological ego, and she decided to take revenge. And that's actually what this is all about. The other day I was coming home from work and saw her standing in my front yard. When she saw me, she came up to me and showed me a picture and video on her smartphone of us walking hand in hand, 
kissing and cuddling with my boy. I don't know how she managed to figure us out. I can only assume she had access to his social media pages while they were dating. And she read our correspondence and found out where and when we went out. The girl told me that if I didn't break up with her ex-boyfriend soon, not only would these materials end up with the boy's parents and the police, but she threatened to send them to all my friends on social networks. And then nothing good awaits me. I tried to get through to her, telling her that we loved each other, that we were happy, and that all this will only make him angry. But the girl was relentless and stood her ground. That was the end of our conversation. It was a real shock to me. I don't know what to do. I really don't want to break up with my loved one. But to lose my reputation, and maybe even my freedom, is not a rosy prospect either.